Here. Former George W. Bush aide Carl Rove is out with a new piece in the Wall Street Journal titled Trump invited this indictment. Rove writes this quote, America has been plunged into an unprecedented crisis by the indictment of Donald yeah. Trump on 37 felony counts. The case will further tear our country apart as it has a heavy impact on the presidential campaign and wrongly undermines confidence in our justice system. The blame for this calamity rests solely on Mr. Trump and his childish impulse to keep momentum from his time in the Oval Office, no matter what the law says. And that is the way Donald Trump viewed them as mementos, Gene mm -hmm. Robinson, as yeah. keepsakes. If you read through the indictment, it's not just yeah. the New York Times reporting this strange fetish for the boxes, but in the indictment, mm -hmm. Trump's own assistant calls these the beautiful mind boxes and says, no, he wants those on Air Force yeah. One with him, like traveling with the documents. He genuinely yeah. and incorrectly believed they brought, belonged to him personally. Yeah, and in addition to be a, being a bad person, Donald Trump is a, is a deeply weird person. And you remember that point, <laughs> that point in the in the indictment where he's talking to to Evan Corcoran, his lawyer, right, and about you know the the, the pluck him out uh, conversation, and and he's saying I, I don't I don't want anybody going through my boxes. I don't want you going through my boxes. It's 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 almost a kind of Gollum in Lord of the Rings right. moment. You know my. Precious. Uh, right. He has this. It's it's like a hoarding instinct about um, about these documents. Uh, some sort of weird security blanket. Some sort of of uh, it, it boosts his ego and reminds him uh, that he actually somehow became president of the United States. I don't know what it what it is about it, um, but it's pathological. Uh, in addition to being criminal, you know, Gene. Also, uh, Karl Rove goes on to say. This is all Donald Trump's fault. Republicans know it's Donald Trump's yeah. fault. Yeah. And yet yeah. they're acting like the worst uh, progressives that, that they, they have contempt for uh, 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 trying to defund the police. And Karl Rove makes the point, <laughs> hey, idiots, <laughs> defunding the FBI, that's yeah. not any better than defunding San Francisco's police department. Right, exactly, and and they're taking these crazy positions uh, that they don't believe in in order mm -hmm. to uh, not offend Donald Trump's base. Uh, uh, they think that the, their political careers are are over if they offend the guy, and so they stick with him inexplicably because he's he's now facing these federal felony charges. There are going to be more felony charges. Uh, it's this is this is the guy they've decided they're going to stake their party's future on. Uh, I think that's a, a political mistake in addition to being a tragedy for the country. But but they're, they're there. They're not profiles in courage, that's for sure. So, Chuck Rosenberg, it's hard not to chuckle a little bit when we're hearing these reports about him hoarding these boxes and dragging them all over the place and not letting anybody have them. But... Are we underestimating the gravity of the situation, calling these documents mementos? It seems to me they're a little bit more oh, than mementos, so and more. it seems to me that, I mean, there's a lot of circumstantial evidence and things we're seeing around the edges here, mm -hmm. family connections to Saudi Arabia, money changing hands, large amounts of it to family members. It seems to me these documents might have been not only highly classified and dangerous for Americans who are serving this country, but expensive if you're in the mood to sell them. If Donald Trump were in the mood to sell them at some point. Yeah, I think that's right, Mika. So two things. First, what you're talking about goes to motive. And motive is always interesting. <clears throat> and as a prosecutor, if you can prove motive, all the better, because it helps the jury understand the case and why a defendant did what a defendant was alleged to have done. But you don't need it. Right. The government doesn't have to show that he wanted to monetize these documents or he wanted to use it in some other nefarious way. They just have to show, as the statute requires, that he had this stuff and he unlawfully mm -hmm. retained it. And by the way, point number two, and Elise and Richard both referred to this, the obstruction charges make that so much easier for the government. So in order to prove intent, you have to crawl into someone's mind. And I can imagine, and uh, you know, Eugene is right, Mr. Trump is a weird guy. Crawling into his mind would be a really uncomfortable place to go. But 
The obstruction charges permit you to do that. They evince intent. They help the government meet the burden to show that the retention was unlawful and purposeful and not by accident or mistake. So when you take these two things together, right, the unlawful retention on one hand, the obstruction on the other, it would be nice to have motive, Mika, mm -hmm. but as a legal matter, you don't need it. And by the way, if he was trying to sell this stuff, if he was trying to monetize it, if foreign governments were getting it to help the Trump family, the Trump organization make more dough, I think we would see other charges. I'm pretty confident right. we would. They're not there yet. Now, doesn't mean they don't get there, but they're not there yet. And so um, interesting to talk about, but as a legal matter, not mm -hmm. something the government has to prove.